Lovelies, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with a Punk Rave haul, which we haven't had in quite a while, I think. And this one is long overdue. I've been meaning to get on top of this for the longest time, and I just haven't, but we're doing it today. Yeah, we're just gonna dive straight into this, um, as always. All the relevant information that I have will be down below. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna grab something. So we're starting with probably the smallest item. This was something that I think I was like, kind of the most excited for, but the piece that I'm the least happy with. Most of the stuff in this is great. It's just, these are strange. So it is a pair of gloves and I got, cause this stuff came through when I was in a very like forest witchy mood and they kind of make me feel that kind of way. I wanted some cool gloves. And you know, on the surface they do look really cool. So let's have a little peek. So like they look, you know, like aged leather sort of style. And you know, there's like a lot of like buckles and stuff. They do look like cool and old, which I love. But I think they're just constructed wrong. And I had Jake try them on as well and make sure it wasn't just me. But like the thumb just isn't really in the right place. And they kind of sit very like weird and baggy like out here on this side of the hand. It's just like, they they don't seem to be being made with an actual hand in mind. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but it's just not quite right. Which is a real shame because they're really cool. I think I will... Oh, probably still use them. I, I mean, it, it's so annoying that I'm honestly wondering if I could even take these to a tailor and just get them to, like, <laughs> shape this so it will fit a hand. Because, like, at first I was like, maybe it's because they're men's gloves. That's why they're not fitting me right. But like I said, Jake tried them on. It was the same problem. They're just, they're not human hand shaped, really. Uh, so as I say, I will probably still use them. I might just, like, take them into someone who works with clothes and be like, can you make these fit a hand properly? But yeah, so... Other than the strange fit, I do really like them. I like all the details, I like the fabric, it's just... I don't really know what's going on with them, but here it is, fully done up. So, you know, again, sort of like forest witch, wizard, alchemy kind of vibes, that's what I was going for. But yeah, like even... I don't know, it's just... They're, I don't know what's going on with them. Hopefully they can be fixed, if not, I might just have to deal with the weirdness but uh yeah so that's a shame but I think that was the only thing that I had an issue with in this haul so that's good um so they have these little straps and then they also have a zip that does up next up I got this like frilly neck thing and I haven't quite figured out like an outfit for this yet but I just really loved it so it is something I want to figure out and let me see how it goes I think it'd be helpful if I didn't have so much hair <laughs> one moment This is kind of what we're going for, and I just love it. Like the ruffling, ruffliness of it is super cute. Also, you need to tie that up properly so it doesn't come loose. There we go. Actually, putting it on, it's. It, I feel like it'll be more stylable than I originally thought. I hope this would be really hard to style, but I actually maybe could work it out easier than I thought. So that's good. But yeah, it's just so cute and ruffly. I just I had to have this. So this is the outside, and then this is the inside and the inside seems to have this cool little bead detail i guess so it like if it sits down but the label is also there i don't know i'll probably take the label off but yeah it's a bit scratchy but it's not like super uncomfortable <laughs> okay <laughs> next step is are you the skirt yes this wonderful forest witchy kind of skirt with all different fabrics and textures and bits and pieces. It's all sort of like raggedy hemmed. It just looks like someone took a bunch of scraps of fabric and like sewed them into a skirt, which is exactly what I was going for. So I love this. There's even like random like zip for no reason. It's just like a scrappy kind of skirt and I really, really like that. So yeah, another one to add to my like raggedy, just got dragged through a thorn bush witchy kind of look. Very, very happy with this. So here is a look at this skirt on. You can see my little uh, lace shorts underneath there. That's not part of it. Uh, but yeah, this skirt is super, super cute. Like I said, I just, I love all the different sort of textures and lengths and scrappy bits. It's just really unique looking, which I think is super, super cute. And yeah, I don't have much to say about it. It's just a really nice piece. And I think it would also be great for layering. I got this like simple but pretty little dress. It kind of has a bit of a textured detail on the front here with like this kind of like wide fishnetty material. But it's like a pretty standard little like strappy dress with a little belt around it. I just feel like I needed more like little sort of simple dresses like this with like, you know, nothing like frilly on the chest, no like frilly sleeves or anything, just really straightforward. 
and that is absolutely perfect for it so love this i actually wish i remember i had this when we went to spain this would have been great but next time this will be coming with me here yeah, so that's just me showing that the uh, shorts are not part of this dress uh, but yeah, this dress is super cute and I've actually been wearing it a lot more. It was a little more snug on me right at this point whenever I filmed this uh, back in December because I've had some weight fluctuations this year. It fits me a little bit better now and I've actually been wearing it a lot because it is just really simple and comfortable and cute, but also just, I don't know, it's just interesting. So yeah, I actually love this dress and now that it fits me better, I've been wearing it loads. Next up is a lovely skirt that is kind of Lolita-ish. I would say like Lolita adjacent, certainly, at the very least. And it's very, very pretty. The fabric has like a lovely sort of embroidered, well, not I don't even know how to describe what way this is put on, like semi-embroidered, I don't know, uh, sort of like rose print, which is very nice. It has some really, really beautiful lace at the bottom of this front like mesh panel, which I really, really love. It has a big old bow in the back and there is shearing, so it means it's stretchy, so you're not gonna get cut in half if you bend over because that is always a bother. It does have some boning actually up in the sort of like waist bit, which is interesting and it laces up. The absolute only thing that I don't really like about this skirt is the sort of satin-ish looking layer. It's, it's not satin, I don't think, but you know what I mean under the mesh with the lace is very sort of like cheap looking and feeling. I don't love this but it does get covered up at least partially so it's not the end of the world but other than that this is a really lovely skirt and I can't wait to style this because it's just very like frilly and romantic so I am happy with this. So this skirt kind of like seen on on camera in the lights I really do hit that satin like under layer uh, so I think I'll definitely try to remove that or add something to cover it up because the sheer netting just doesn't cover it and it is so shiny and bad looking. Other than that, it's cute. Like the rest of the fabric feels really, really nice. Um, I do think it needs a petticoat under it to look really like proper because it kind of sits a bit funny otherwise. But yeah, with a petticoat, this would be super cute. The only problem is that lining is atrocious. So if I can figure out how to swap that out or cover it up, then it should be great because everything else about it is so lovely. It is just that satin. <laughs> and finally, I have this lovely snuggly little strange capelet kind of thing. It is so, so soft. The outside is like kind of like a crinkly velvet type thing. It's very interesting. I really like it. The inside of the hood and everything is the snuggliest fleece you ever will feel. It is so soft and cozy and I kind of just want to go to sleep on it right now. Um, but it's absolutely lovely. And then it has like little pom-poms in the front and back. So the, the back ones hang down really, really low. The front ones fall sort of more like mid chest level. And uh, yeah, it's just like a cute little sort of cape thing and it's so cozy. I'll actually have to put some cute little wintry outfits together with this because I think it was sort of in the autumn that I got this stuff through. As I said, this is long overdue. But now I can make a cozy little comfy winter outfit with this. So that's very exciting. This is another piece I don't have a lot to say about. It is just really soft and snuggly and comfortable and cute. Because I have big shoulders, it makes me look a little larger than I'd like, but other than that, I think it is just adorable. Oh, so that is everything that I got in this haul. I'm sure they have like loads of new stuff out by now, plenty to check out, so do have a wee look for that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and it maybe give you some new clothing ideas. Please do leave me a comment and let me know what your favourite piece was, or if you have any other really lovely pieces from Punk Rave. I would love to know. I always forget how much I love that brand, and then they come up and I'm like, oh yeah. Please do give the video a wee thumbs up. Just, I love to see that from you. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. We would love to have you, and there are plenty of videos for you to check out. And finally, before you go, before I go, I'm very tired, if you could consider checking out my Patreon, that would be amazing. It is the best possible way to support me and this channel. I'd love to see some more friendly faces over there. So the link for that as always is down in the description you can always just check it out and see what you think before committing to it i say committing you know there's there's not really any commitment you know if you join and decide you don't want to be there at any point in the future you can cancel there's no you're not locked into anything so yeah have a wee look is what i'm saying Whew. okay i have lots more to do tonight as i'm recording this it is two days until christmas and i have so much cooking to do this is like my first christmas like where i will be doing the dinner and I've, to, I've like there's a lot that I want to cook so I'm, I'm punishing myself for some reason I'm gonna make an apple pie I'm very excited but I'm also trying to figure out timing for everything so I have that to do and possibly more videos tonight but I've enjoyed spending this time with you I hope you've enjoyed spending this time with me and I will see you in the next video bye lovelies